We're going to look at how to work with HTML in the Pro version of Spinner Chief. So I've got a small HTML website here. It's a, a, a classified advert on Craigslist. So if we get the source of that and copy it, then we can paste it into the article edit window. Now it will stay blank for a bit and the reason for that is because um, in, when you copy an H HTML from a web page there's, there is rather a lot of it so it takes time to go in. Also uh, Spinner Chief knows that we're going to be working on this HTML very soon and so it has to do a bit of number crunching ready to prepare the HTML ready to work on but it will appear any second now. Right, I think that's in. Yes, there it is. Okay, so if we look, go into the HTML spin uh, menu, we could choose this option, clear HTML tags. That would clear all of the HTML off, allowing you just to work on the what is essentially the text of the web page. So you, so that's if you if you don't want to deal with the HTML and just want to deal with the text. Most people want to actually work with the HTML. Um, and create something that they can repost. So first thing we'll do is identify the HTML tags by using this option. And that's done. And you can see that the HTML tags are uh, now in a lighter color. So it's easy to differentiate between them and what is the actual text of the web page. Now what I'm going to do is click this option, jump HTML tags when select synonyms. When I do this, that means that when I start tabbing using the tab key, when Spinner Chief sees HTML, it'll jump it all together and just go to the text that is on the web page, the standard text. So if I click tab now, you can see it's gone to the, the actual text of the web page and it's, and it's chosen, it's gone to the first words that actually have synonyms great for so I'll choose ideal for and then hopefully there's another one college students right university students now if I click tab again you can see the HTML is starting up again if I click it again it jumps all of that and goes on to the next set of writing so that's how you would work on the text the pure text of an HTML page so I'm going to click the cursor in here and show you the pictures feature. So it says insert picture. So let's go into there. And it needs a source. So your pictures have to be already published on the web. On the web. You can't use a local source of pictures. Um, I've done a search here for George Foreman Grill. I'll go into this one. Let's hope it's um, on here somewhere. Ah, here we go. So just get the location of that and copy it. And we can now paste the URL of that image into our interface here. Uh, we can add alt tags here and actual dimensions that we want here as well and the alignment I've got it as random but you can align it bottom left middle right or top if you want I'm going to leave it at random if I just click add new picture you can see that the alignment is actually in curly brackets in spin tax up here so it, it'll align it randomly every time we spin the article so now if I click insert picture it'll insert it where we put the cursor which is here so straight after the advert I've now got an image of the George Foreman grill and it's going to align it as you can see here on a random basis so let's spin it now and see what happens um, I've got protect HTML tags checked because we don't want the HTML spinning <laughs> we want it we want something like the web page that we were looking at originally the Craigslist advertisement and I've got the still spin uh, brackets in HTML code checked because if there's anything 
in the HTML that's in brackets, we do want that spinning because it's that's um, a random uh, feature as we chose random for the image when we inserted it. So if I click OK to that, and it's going to spin five versions of the text for us. And the bottom part of the article screen is a browser, so we should see uh, that's the that's the the advertisement. There is it, George Foreman Grill, ten dollars, and there is the picture inserted. So you can see how that works. It's inserted it, the picture that we added. It spun the text of the web page, but it's left the HTML intact. So this is a great way to take HTML and spin the text of it, spin some images, and create multiple blog pages. If you're into auto blogs, it'd be perfect for that. Or just posting the same post to multiple blogs that you have um, and keeping them unique by spinning both the text and inserting pictures. It's creating mini web pages, if you like, or mini blog posts with uh, images. So that's how to use the Spinner Chief HTML plugin in Spinner Chief Pro.